Alright. Okay, the first type of firework is called a fountain. To determine whether it's a fountain, have a read of the warning label and it should say emits showers of sparks. Here is some examples of some cone fountains and some cylindrical fountains. They've got um, usually the fuses on the top. Okay, fountains are one of the safest products. Um, to set them up, there is a few different methods. To set up a fountain, we can set them up on some boards. And we just need to get hold of some long nails, or you can use screws. Just um, get a piece of board like this. We we'll want to position as many fountains as we can fit on the board. Just um, it's pretty simple engineering. Just knock a nail in either side of the fountain. Just position position the fountain between the nails and with some nice duct tape bind the fountain to the nails. One or two turns is sufficient. So it's held steady. A fountain just thrusts out sparks there's not a great deal of um, lateral force, so they don't have to be. They just need to be secured firmly. You don't, no need to go over the top. Uh, in preparation for the display, just make sure the fuse is exposed. Now, fountains can crossfire because there's a big shower of sparks that can set the neighbouring fuse off. So what you do is just get a bit of um, aluminium alfoil from the kitchen and pop it over the top of each fountain. When we're going to come to light the fountain, you just um, pull the foil off and light the fuse. Another way to set up fountains is simply to uh, attach them to a tent peg with the duct tape again. Just once around the top and once around the bottom. Need to push the peg far enough into the ground so the base of the fountain is on the ground. Ready? 